the brain not only uses attention, but it also in some sense keeps track of what its attention is doing, right? So it's saying it's not just attending to something, attending to whatever it is, your sandwich. Mm. It's also in effect processing, there's a me and I'm attending to that sandwich, right? It's building a, a model, as we say, a chunk of information to describe that state I am attending to the sandwich and the model depicts it in a kind of a, a, a impressionistic way right and so the impressionistic depiction is not ah uh, of my 86 billion neurons they're all competing you know signals are competing and then some of the signals related to the sandwich are arriving in my parietal frontal networks like that's not what the model is Right? The model is much more simple than that. The way the brain depicts that act of attention is I have a mind and the mind has sort of without any physical um, components has just taken possession of the sandwich mm -hmm. and vividly in the moment such that now I can make decisions about that sandwich, right? That's the mind, the brain's meta description mm -hmm. of paying attention to the sandwich. So that I think is the relationship between attention and conscious experience is that attention is what the brain is doing. Conscious experience is, is what the brain set, it tells itself it's doing.